Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today I want to make an announcement uh, for our live stream coming up. So, uh, as you know, Apple is going to be holding a big event, uh, you know, whether you're an Apple fan or not, you know, a technology fan in general, we are going to cover it, uh, you know, we're doing a live coverage. Uh, we, I mean myself, uh, Duncan Mayo, our mobile phone 2003, Nuno Leto, we're all going to be on. Um, now the event is going to be uh, live streamed by Apple themselves at 10 a.m. Uh, I believe that's Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. For me, that's gonna be around 2 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna stay up though because this is a big event. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna catch some early rest now, and then it's actually gonna start. The event is actually starting in three hours, I think. So three hours from now. So um, I'm gonna get some rest because I do got school tomorrow. But nonetheless, uh, we are gonna deliver the news to you. We have a new UStream channel that is at ustream.tv slash user slash digital dojos so you can go there or you can search digital I think if you search digital dojos as well I'll also leave a link in the uh, video description to the coverage we're gonna be talking you know it's gonna be laid back it's gonna be uh you know it will be recorded uh you know just I'm gonna have them chime in on Skype and we're just gonna be talking about what's up you know what we're what we're uh you know uh pretty much I guess this is the expectations video right here because these are gonna be my predictions in a second but um uh, you know, we're gonna have what they, uh, you know, what they think are about the products that are launched, what, uh, you know, just the whole keynote in general, we're gonna be covering on, you know, our opinions on everything as it happens, and, you know, whether we like stuff, we don't like stuff, who knows. Uh, and it's a mixed crowd, you know, um, I'm Mac and Windows, I use both, uh, we have some guys who just use Windows in there, you know, Duncan and Nuno, uh, and some of them, you know, they, use, they have past experience with OS X, so it'll be a, you know, a good mix. Anyways, with that, um, you know, what to expect in the Apple event? Um, if you haven't got seen the invitation, uh, basically it looks like it's gonna be a music centric event. It's basically the guitar with the Apple logo and carved in the middle for the whole, you know, the whole of the guitar is the Apple logo. So most likely it's a music centric event. I mean, September's always when they release the new iPod, so we're gonna definitely see something about the iPods. Um, now the thing about the live streaming, it's gonna be live streamed on Apple. One thing uh, which I think they did was a straight shot to Microsoft is you're only gonna be able to watch it on Apple devices. Yeah, really. Um, I mean, there's other ways to watch it. Um, once they put it up on their site, as they always do, like an hour after the keynote, um, it'll be available to Windows users as always, because that's the way I've used to watch it. They've never done a live stream before, but now they're live streaming it to iPhones, iPhone 4s, uh, I would show you my iPhone 4, but I'm filming with it right now. Mac OS 10, so Mac, you know, if you have a Macintosh, I'm going to be watching it on my MacBook right here in the live stream. But again, I'll be live streaming it with my camera, so you'll be able to, you know, tune into the keynote even if you're on Windows and you can't view it. Um, iPads will be able to uh, watch it as well. Um, and I believe other than that, Windows users cannot watch it on, watch the live stream anyway. Um, so that's a bummer. But, um, other than that, uh, what's, I, what do I expect personally from the event? Uh, basically, we're going to see an update to the iPod Touch, most definitely. Uh, maybe a in design inspired from the iPhone 4 is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to get, obviously, the FaceTime camera. That's one of the big things we've been hearing about. I'm not so sure about the back camera, which a lot of people wanted, but... I'm kind of 50-50 on that, if that's going to actually happen. Um, possibly, I'm, I've seen some leaked photos, there's a new Retina display that could be coming to the iPod Touch. This is obviously my phone, iPhone 3G, but basically they're going to be incorporating the uh, iPod Touch's FaceTime camera right there where the microphone is, or the speaker. Um, possibly a Retina display, which would be really nice for iPod Touch users. Uh, probably slimmer profile, faster hardware, that type of stuff, you know, a new refresh of the product. Um, uh, other than that, there will be some, uh, there's talk about the iPad OS 4.0 launch. Uh, personally, I'm not sure if they're going to be talking about it. It may be like a small thing that they mentioned, but it's not really media-centric for, you know, an event like this. So I'm not sure if the whole iPad will be, the iPad 4.0 software may be talked about, who knows. Um, Apple TV, this is a big, big thing that a lot of people are talking about. And some people said, you know, since it's a music event, it may not be talked about. I personally, my opinion is it's going to be mentioned either at the end or one of the big things are going to be hitting because it's media. I think it's more of a media-centric event where uh, that the uh, Apple TV or they're going to be, what people are claiming the iTV or basically they're going to take the iOS uh, operating system that they put on, you know, their iPads, their iPhones and porting it kind of to an iTV interface where you can get your iTunes content through your iTV streamed, you can get applications running through your iTV, stuff like Pandora, and, you know, easy photo sharing, you know, ITV is going to be uh, one of, from, you know, a lot of bloggers, Kevin Rose has written about it, uh, from what I've heard, it sounds like a really good system, you know, easy, you know, turn on your TV, you get all your content, you can, you know, stream music, uh, you can uh, rent movies, buy movies, all that type of stuff, um, you know, streaming uh, flawlessly on, you know, this uh, easy piece of hardware that you can just set up to any TV, HD TV, you know, in the living room or whatever, and uh, get your movies on demand through there. 
Um, you know, this possible rental, there's talk about a rental service for 99 cents, which could be unle unleashed, so that's, you know, uh, rumored again. Um, and the whole iOS thing with, you know, with the OS layered on top of it with an easy to access interface, you know, with your icons, your app store, uh, and they can just easily port, out, port over apps for the TV interface, which would be really, really awesome for, you know, a true living room uh, media experience. So that's one of the big things I think they'll be talking about, the whole ITV thing. It's not claimed to be called ITV, but who knows. Uh, iTunes, I think they'll show some iTunes updates because, you know, iTunes hasn't really seen that much uh, big updates lately. It's kind of still, I've always, iTunes, I thought, you know, it's a good piece of software, but kind of bloated. So I'm hoping that they do some major updates to that. Uh, like I said, the rental program may be something they talk about. Um, I'm curious to see if they're going to talk about the company they purchased back in the uh, couple, I'm not sure how long ago but they, uh, they purchased it, but Lala, which is a music streaming service. Um, I wonder if they're going to talk about the whole streaming, if they have any, like, streaming service coming for iTunes or anything like that. Or, you know, not iTunes, but, you know, anything, any streaming service in general. Because I think it's kind of, you know, uh, what do you call that? It's kind of odd how they're, just the first time they're actually streaming their own event. I don't know how long it's been since they, or if they've ever sh actually, you know, Apple-branded stream, uh, you know, their keynote. And, it's, uh, you know, usually you would think they would do something like that for WWDC or anything like that, but they're doing it for this event. So maybe in something special that they're doing this whole live stream and may be built off whatever technology they're using with Lala. Who knows? Uh, but if you don't know what Lala is, it was a music streaming service, so who knows what they'll be doing with it. If they'll be starting a whole web streaming service, you know, it's uh, possibilities are endless. Um, another thing I think they'll be talking about, uh, due to the whole invitation icon, a lot of people thought they'll be talking about uh, GarageBand. And GarageBand has seen a lot of updates lately. One of the big pieces of the iLife suite allows you to make music, do some cool recording stuff. Uh, so I think that's going to be mentioned. So, um, like I said, iPod Touch updates. Uh, there's a speculation of an iPod Nano slash iPod Shuffle with a touchscreen and the 1.7 inch display, which could or could not be, you know, uh, I don't think they can really do much with the Shuffle. Uh, you know, they've pretty much narrowed it down to what they can. Adding a touchscreen, I think, is kind of like a, not a fallback, but kind of like a, uh, you know, kind of just a thing to rebrand the product, you know, kind of a last resort type thing. But who knows? That's another speculation. The Lala, the iTunes updates, the ITV, all that stuff and more. We'll be covering the digital dojos over at the Ustream, so do check out that link. Those are my predictions. Be sure to you know join us for me, Duncan, and Nuno's uh, coverage. It's going to be a laid-back stream, so you know uh, feel free to join in the chat and uh, drop in your opinions. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to watch that live stream that will be starting very soon. So thanks for watching.